How's it going everyone? David from DoD Media. I'm in London tonight, uh, as you can see around me. Going to a Sigma event where they're launching their new FP camera. Pretty excited. I'm actually using the Sigma 14 to 24, which is a bit of a beast of a lens, but it gives me that wide angle view that you kind of get typically on a, a GoPro or something more like an action camera. So I'm gonna see how it's gonna work for a vlog. See if it's gonna kill my arm by the end of the night. I'm already sensing that this was a mistake to use this lens uh, without a gorilla pod or anything. But basically, as I understand it, uh, when we go in there, we'll be able to get like a coupon or something that we'll be able to exchange for a camera, working camera, and a lens. Had to bring our own memory cards, and I've actually brought my little Atomus Ninja 5 because I know that I can get some nice raw footage straight off of that in Cinema DNG. So we're gonna put this camera through its paces and uh, see what it can do. This is uh, now. This is the 14 to 24. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, did. I don't know why it, I, I couldn't see, see the. The crazy, no, I look at the it, I crazy go, barrel. Of course, that is the 14 to 24. <laughs> what was I thinking? We've got Sigma FP underneath all of this. And then mixed with our MC21, which is an EF to L mount adapter. And then with our full frame 24 to 35 T2.2. All of this is outputting 12 bit raw onto our SSD drive and then monitoring on one of the Atomoses. So we've also got viewfinder on the back, you can hold it up to your eye and shoot run and gun with it um, with all your standard controls for your iris focus and zoom on the lens. Okay, I've, I've moved to the back of the party now because it's so loud that I'm not sure this would pick it up. Um, I'm hoping that all of this has been in focus. I think it should be, and I think it should be wide enough that you can see everything. Um, this is a kind of a cool matrix corridor. Anyway, I'm gonna switch out the lens now uh, for something that is a little bit tighter. I'm gonna try the Viltrox 85 mm and I'm gonna try the Sigma FP. Let's see what I can get. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I want Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better, I dare you to be wilder So I've got the FP here, and I've got the 85mm f1.4, which is directly mounted to the FP. Uh, no adapters, nothing like that. So we're going to be able to test the autofocus pretty well. Unfortunately, uh, the firmware still doesn't support the Atomos Ninja 5, which this is recording on right now. So I'm just going to have to use an SD card. Uh, there, there'd be no benefit from using the Atomos. If I bought a little uh, hard drive, then I would have been able to get the Cinema DNG raw file straight out of the camera. But it's already equipped. But anyway, let's have a look at what this camera can do. Let yourself be free and maybe you will find that there is more to life than being pretty. Honey, let's just be easy. Let your head down, be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes up. You don't have to hide it. Baby, let your head down, be a little wilder. Baby, kick your shoes up. Don't hide it. Okay, so I'm back in the studio now. It's been a few days since the event. Really fun event, by the way. Thank you, Sigma, for inviting me. Um, as I say, I was poorly equipped for the event. They sent out a message saying that um, we should bring certain media to record to, and I thought that maybe the Atomus would work, but it, it wasn't, the firmware wasn't there yet. So the only thing I would have gotten out of the Atomus was a 1080p feed that wasn't raw. And really, when you've got a camera that can record in raw, you kind of want to try that. So all I had with me was my nice, fast memory card for the a7 III. And with that, I had the choice of either recording in 4K 8-bit DNG raw or 1080 12-bit DNG raw. So I opted for the 1080 uh, 12-bit. Now, if you're familiar with Cinema DNG, uh, you know exactly what it is, how you grade it, that it's an image sequence rather than a video file. 
If you're not familiar with it, basically what you get when you're recording is your camera taking a sequence of raw photos, much like I would do if I put my a7 III into burst mode and it would take a series of photos. The difference here is that those photos are regulated to a specific frame rate. So essentially it's using the processor in your camera to capture a ton of raw data without compiling it into a video file for you, which means that you can have it expanded and have a lot more data in every single frame every single photo. And what's really cool is because they're raw photos, you don't have to just rely on Lumetri or DaVinci Resolve or whatever your nonlinear editor has to offer in terms of color grading. You can actually import all of those raw photos from that specific take into Lightroom or Photoshop and grade them there using Lightroom or Camera Raw. And to me, that makes such a difference because I feel like there's just so much more flexibility when you're using Lightroom and you can just treat one photo and sync with all the other photos in that shot. Now sure, there's some limitations with that versus Resolve where, you know, in Lightroom, you can't animate where uh, an adjustment brush goes or a radio filter or that kind of thing, whereas you can in Resolve. But still, it's still pretty cool to be able to exploit the power of a, a photo processing tool for video frames. Now, Sigma UK have promised me that they're gonna get me a version very soon that I can review and I'm also gonna shoot a short film on it to review it. And I'll try and get some behind the scenes of that to show you the production process and handling the camera on set and everything that I might come up against in terms of obstacles and finding solutions around them. All right, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, subscribe, do what you want. I don't care, I do care. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. Give it a like, because likes, they get me far. No, they don't. I don't even know if they matter. Does anything matter? I'm feeling rather nihilistic. Goodbye.